In this video, we're going to learn how to manage images in our course bundle in Cotrack. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Invanto and then access Cotrack. And then I'm going to find the course bundle that I want to work with and click Edit. Then I'm going to go all the way across the tabs to Settings and Images. For this particular course bundle, I don't have any images set up. So I'm going to show you what that looks like inside my school uh, because I don't have any images showing. So we'll see what it looks like. So this is my school. And as you can see, I've got the Mastery Course Bundle right here but there's no thumbnail showing right there. And if I click on details, it shows a default picture. It doesn't have my the picture that I want that is consistent with the brand that I want to show with that course bundle. So I'm going to show you how to add those pictures and make your course flow with the same colors and the same logos and all that kind of stuff. So let's jump in there and do that. All right, we're back in our images section of our course bundle. And I need two images. I need one that's 1400 by 520 pixels, and I need one that's 480 by 270. So let's do the cover image first, and I'll just click Upload. And I can upload this from the files that I already have uploaded, or I can upload a new one. I'm going to go to Upload. I can choose Local Machine or Dropbox. I'm going to go to my local machine. And then I'm going to navigate to where I have the pictures. And here's my first one. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And it's going to add it to my files. And it's check marked. So I'm going to click insert. There's the cover image. Now I'm going to add the thumbnail. So all I do is click upload course thumbnail. And I'm going to go to that same place to find my other picture. It's uploaded, now it's checkmarked, so I'm going to click Insert. And it's inserted that picture for me, so now I have both pictures uploaded for my course bundle cover image and my course bundle thumbnail. So now let's look at what they look like inside the school. All right, this is what it looked like before I added the images, and I'm going to refresh the page, and we're going to see what picture pops up in this thumbnail area. So as you can see, the thumbnail popped up. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Details, and we'll see how our cover image looks. And there's our cover image and how it appears on the Course Bundle Sales page. So let's go back to the Course Bundle image area where we edit. So we've added both of our Course Bundle images. So that's how you add images, edit the images, and manage the images in your Course Bundle.